one, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure the re-enrollment feature. We will go over the settings and the user role attribute. To review the re-enrollment settings, you can click on your service menu and under configuration, click on settings. You're then going to click on the enrollment tab. Scrolling down, you will see the re-enrollment feature setting. And when this is enabled, you will see all of the additional settings for the feature. The re-enrollment allow bookings to be updated by a guardian. When this is enabled, this allows guardians to update and make changes to the re-enrollment booking pattern that is offered to their child. This still gives you control as you will have the final say when importing the record into Kidsoft. The re-enrollment offered entries expire. This is defaulted to two and can be updated to what you feel is needed for your service configuration. And the offered entries will then expire after these X amount of days. You then have the re-enrollment offered expire reminder. So again, this is defaulted to two days prior to the expiry and can be updated to a number that you see fit for your service. The service will then send a system email to the guardian reminding them that their re-enrollment offer is about to expire. You have the re-enrollment terms and conditions. We will have some system terms and conditions in there pre-populated. However, you can update them, edit them and add in whatever you feel fit um, for your re-enrollment terms and conditions. These will display on the re-enrollment in the parent portal for the guardian and will also be displayed on the document once completed. Moving over to the user role configuration. So clicking on your service menu and under configuration, clicking on user accounts, and then we're gonna click on the user role. So the enrollment user role attribute is what determines the control of a user for re-enrollment. This is a multi-purpose attribute that will work with iEnroll and re-enrollment. And just last, under your reports menu, you will find you will have a re-enrollment report. This is located under the enrollment menu. And you can also use your enrollment utilization. And this is a multi-purpose report that can be used to filter for re-enrollment, I enroll, or both reports in one. For any further information on our re-enrollment feature, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.